Welcome back to My Classic Fords. Today we have to check out the backhoe. Um, we had all the overheating trouble with it. Turns out it was in fact the red cap. Um, went through all the steps, figure out what it was, and turns out all it was was a red cap. After that though, I mean, I couldn't figure out why. I just kept filling it back up with water. Couldn't figure out why it was overheating. I didn't want to keep wasting antifreeze and, you know, dumping antifreeze all over the ground. So now that it's getting cold, um, we need to siphon some of that water out of there. Now, the petcock and the radiator is really hard to get at. So I don't really want to try to mess with it. And I don't want to try to mess with the hoses. So I'm going to try to suck it out from the top. See if I can get enough of it out and mix some concentrated in with it. And then we'll use a coolant tester to make sure that it's okay. All right, well, let's get started. Okay, so first things first, we got our coolant tester here. We squeeze the bulb, get it down in there. We'll get a nice full. It needs a little bit more than that. Okay, so we got a nice full gauge. It looks like we are just above the freezing point so you see the little arrow there it says uh, freezing point so the outside is in celsius so like in canada we're in celsius looks like we're you know not even close probably just above freezing so that's no good so we'll have to see if we can siphon a little bit out and like i said i just kept adding water to this I, I didn't want to keep wasting antifreeze and I, I didn't want antifreeze that was just going to bilge out over the ground until I had the heating solve, heating problem solved. So now I'm going to try out this, uh, this little sucker here and we're going to try to, we're going to try to pull out some antifreeze just by pulling this. We're going to siphon out what we can and hopefully I can get four liters siphoned out. And I'll put that uh, four liter jug in. Okay. So I know this isn't the proper way to, you know, flush out your system, but like I said, everything in here is really hard to get at and it's old. And I don't, you know, I don't really want to bust anything or break anything. It's almost impossible to get up to the radiator. So I was able to siphon out probably, I'd say two liters out of here. Next thing I think I'll do is I think I'll just pull this hose off. There's no thermostat in it, so we got to put a new thermostat in it anyway. So I think what I'll do is I'll pop that hose off and see if I can siphon anything out of there. And then, like I said, we'll put some fresh one, fresh antifreeze in. And I just want to point out that I guess this would be a, a good time or a good way to change your thermostat, you know, if that's all you're doing. Like I said, I siphoned out a couple liters out of there. I siphoned out probably another liter out of there, maybe half a liter. And, you know, there's basically no mess because I I emptied the uh, coolant before I got in there. Um, again, the proper way would be to drain the radiator from the bottom. But, you know, if I was doing a thermostat, I'd probably just do it just like this, just pull enough coolant out to get to it and call her a day throw your thermostat in and you don't have to mess with the radiator break the petcock off the radiator and you'd be in a world of a mess then so anyway i'm gonna throw that thermostat in i'll put that hose on and uh, we'll fill it back up okay well i managed to get four liters of uh concentrated coolant in it so i sucked out you know about the same amount and um I almost got four liters back in. Basically, this whole jug has just got a little trickle in it. So, like I said, I know this isn't the proper way to do it, but it's supposed to dip down cold here in another couple days, and um, I just I don't have the time to do it properly right at the moment. So, I siphoned out, you know, what I could, and uh, put in some concentrated coolant. So, what I'll do now. 
uh, tomorrow I got to fire this backhoe up and uh, I'll be operating it for oh probably a good four or five hours that'll get it nice and warm get the uh, coolant stirred up and then we'll just do another quick check on it and uh, you know we'll see where we're at for the freezing point and uh, if that's good well we'll leave it like that for the winter all right guys thanks a lot for watching